What's up, FOA squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Happy Sunday to you guys. In my last video, I introduced you guys to my new cookware made by Hexclad. And I fixed a pasta dish with the uh, eight inch and the soft and the saucepan. Well, today I wanted to see just how well these pans cook. So I thought, what better meat to cook in these pans than steak. So today I'm going to make a New York strip steak and the eight inch frying pan. I'm also going to make some steamed broccoli as well as some uh, uh, potatoes. But I'm going to, you know, I have so many packs of I was sent all of these packs of different uh, flavors of mashed potatoes by Betty Crocker. And of course you guys know my favorite brand of this, this type of potatoes are the Idaho. But I was sent all of these from one of the FOAs, but I'm not going to use any of these today. Instead, I have a bag of potatoes, the little, oops, sorry. Uh, I have a bag of potatoes. Uh, the little small ones, I'm just gonna cut them in half and boil them, put some salt and pepper on them, as well as some of the herb and butter garlic that I have. Yes, I'm super loaded on the, <laughs> I'm super loaded on the uh, mashed potatoes. I do love my mashed potatoes. All right, so here is the New York strip steak. I had it sitting out so that it can come to room temperature and it will be much easier to cook. <laughs> so we're gonna, so I'm gonna pat this down dry. Now this is a thick piece of steak. I was actually looking for, this is my second piece. I had, uh, I bought a packet of two and I wanted to get the ribeye, but for the cost comparison of getting two New York strip versus one ribeye, if I would have bought two ribeyes, it would have been more than, you know, buying pack two, uh, one pack of these with two. I'm gonna, gonna pat this dry. Oh, I need a trash bag. Oh Lord, these potatoes, they start, they starting to grow feet. I usually don't buy a bag of potatoes. I usually just buy them loose and pay for them that way. I don't know what made me buy. I don't know what made me buy a whole, a whole goddamn bag of potatoes. All right, when it comes to my steak, I'm very simple with the seasonings of it. I'll just go ahead and use some salt and pepper. So that's what we're gonna do here. Just some salt and pepper. At some point, it's time for me to sit down and figure out or add up all my different categories for my write-offs, for my taxes. My tax lady this year, boy, she gonna be really overwhelmed now with me. Cause last year, last year when I went in there and took my YouTube form in there for the first time, and that was the first time, I got the impression that that was the first time she ever had to do taxes for a YouTube content creator. Cause she was kind of like, she was kind of moving really slow and kind of, and I mean, she's naturally a slow moving person, but I can sense that 
you know, and then I handed her a bunch of write-offs and everything. I can sense she was a little bit overwhelmed by it. She didn't know what categories. I could see her looking at the screen and then looking at her papers with all my paperwork and everything. And it almost seemed to me that she didn't quite know where to put certain categories in the computer and everything. So I hope she's better equipped this year because, whew, I'm gonna let her have it this year with the write-ups, boy, because I went to town with the write-ups. I did a really, really good job this year or last year, all last year <laughs> with, with my write-offs. So she gonna definitely have her hands full this time. I get my taxes done on, uh, prepared on February the 16th. So in about a week and a half, I'll be heading back up to Baltimore. All right, now I, I can't remember that I put some oil in this pan or not because I know with oil in this pan, when it gets super hot, it's gonna really, really start, you know, oil splashes when it gets really hot. So I can't remember that I put oil in here or not. All right, well, you know what? I'm just gonna put just a tad bit of oil in there. Yeah, I'll just put just a tad bit in there. You know what? I'm not gonna put any oil in there. We'll try it with no oil. Let me get me a fork. And this is going to make a big pss when I put it in there. I don't know about these eggs on potatoes now. Look at these things. They starting to grow legs and stuff. I hate when my potatoes do that. I might just go ahead and fix one package of those. The weather here has been pretty nice. I'll put that lid right there. The weather here has been pretty nice. Yesterday around 4.30 I went and sat down by the pool and I ran into this couple that I met at another campground. They are the nicest couple and he almost remembered me. And then when I started talking about some of the encounters and conversations that we had uh, at the other campground, you know, he was remember. And I was all the whole time when he was trying to say, oh yes, I remember you were in the so-and-so section. I'm thinking to myself, well, okay, how many short black men have you met at the campground? <laughs> Cause I don't see a lot of them there. <laughs> That's enough broccoli. I don't know why I keep eating broccoli. When I got canned string beans, I have canned corn. But yet, here I go, going for the brock. Okay, remember I bought those Cheddar Bay biscuits, Red Lobster biscuits from the grocery store? Well, I had the box in here for so long, the box stuck to one of my pull-out trays, and I had to really pull that box out and it left the the bottom of the box stuck on to the it looks a hot mess and i'm a visual person and if things don't look right i'm like ah okay let me get some more butter yeah i know once again i love this carry gold garlic and herb butter oh let me get that in there because that is burning up I'm beginning to think maybe I should have used that. Uh, oh, you know what I wanted to do? I wanted to time this. For... Th 
three minutes. I'm gonna do three minutes on each side. All right, let me turn this on. Hope it doesn't be too much of a distraction from the video. I just put a little bit of water at the bottom of the pan for the uh, broccoli because I want them to I want them to steam. Let's put a little bit of salt in here. And then when the steak gets done, <coughs> oh, maybe I should have put some, um, maybe I should have put a little oil in there. Oh my goodness. I gotta wash this off. Cause this is creating some smoke. Making me a little nervous. I am gonna add, I'm gonna add some butter to it when I turn it. and then kind of baste it out. I have so much food in here and I love being able to be stocked up on food that I don't have to run to the market. I did have to go and get some water. I'm, I'm trying to get in the habit now of buying the big cases of water because usually I buy like a 12. And I've been drinking so much water lately that I bought a 28 case of the uh, Sam Club's water from Walmart and I drank that water I think I have like five more left so I went to Walmart today and got some more I hate when the phone go into like pause mode so let me change this you never, never, never gonna get it. Three more seconds. All right, let's give it a flip. Ooh, look at that bad boy. All right. And it started all over again. Wow, look at that. Look at that sea. Let me show you guys. Look at that sear. Now that's how a steak is supposed to look. All right. All right, I'm going to go ahead and throw a couple knobs of the butter in here. Start. We're gonna start basting it. I don't know why y'all crooked though. We got a minute and 15 seconds to go. For some strange reason, I tend to like my steak to be, 
I tend to eat my steak plain. I'm not a really a big steak sauce person on it. I figure if the steak is seasoned well enough and it's tender like I would like it, I like it plain. That is it. I'm going to get that out of there. And let that rest while everything else is getting cooked. want to punch a hole in it because then all the juices will come out so but I think I'm going to give it another minute yeah another minute I like to sit my paper plate on here because the paper plate can get really, really hot and I'm very conscious of how hot my countertop get, how hot my uh, black table get that I sit something on. Because that black table is not the best material. All right, once the steak is um, cooked and I'll give it about five, 10 more minutes while I cook it everything else and then I'll turn that off. The broccoli seems to be coming along. Because I can look in the, on the side of it and see that it's a little red on the side. Alright, I'm estimating what a minute is because I didn't even set the timer for a minute. Alright, let's go with that. All right, now when I cooked last time, someone told me not to pour hot liquid down my drain because it can uh, damage my pipes. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that sit there. But what I am going to do is I'm going to run some hot water in it. I know that's not gonna to help too much because all it's gonna do is turn the water hot. But I wanna do it because I don't want the pan to get all stuck in. Okay, and in this little small pot here, which is not one of my hex clad pots, but I do love this pot because it is the perfect size pot to cook like some corn. And you know what? Oh, I was about to say, I'm gonna fix some corn, but I got the broccoli going. Okay, it don't take long for the broccoli to start, you know, doing this thing. Now I gotta decide. I guess I'll go ahead and fix one of these potatoes. Ah. I want to fix one that I've never had before. <laughs> Alright, so let's let's try the sour cream and chives. Let's try these. And it says one and a quarter cups of water. 
aren't y'all impressed with me? I actually read instead of dumping them my normal two cups in there. Alright, for the time being, I'm gonna move my steak so that I can have a little bit more room over here on that table. The broccoli is done. It's just steamed. All right, let's see. Let's see what I want to do here. Woo! I got a new home. New space. And guess what? I still need space. <laughs> I still could use just a tiny bit more space. All right, quarter of a cup. And we're gonna get that going. It don't take long at all for water to boil. And we're gonna clean this spoon off so I can mix my mashed potatoes out. I should have gone on ahead and cut those dang going potatoes up with the feet growing out just to get some use out of it. That's what I should do. Maybe I'll make some fried potatoes for breakfast get, so they won't be a total waste. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll make some fried potatoes and onions. show y'all something else that y'all gonna be proud of me too i broke down i broke down and i bought some diet cokes but i bought a six pack of the little mini cans right here but i bought these like what a week and a half ago and check it out i only drank two of them two i'm doing good even i have them here at the house I'm doing really good. I only drank two of these in a week and a half. I'm doing good. Controlling my urges, controlling my urges. <laughs> doing good. This stuff gets so messy around here. So messy. All right, let me get my red plate out. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. These are the plates that Ella and Eddie uh, sent to me um, every time or not every time but several times in the comments every time I eat with this plate someone asks me where did I get these plates from this red this beautiful red plate Ella and Eddie from Louisiana sent these to me and I get good use out of them All right, I'm about to, because the mashed potatoes, they don't take long to get done. Once you, and you know what else is hard about these packages? Not just this one, but the um, Idaho one too. I can never have the strength to, to these bad boys are locked in. I always got to use some scissors. I think I'm going to do a live and have a conversation about the land. Okay, I guess I need some butter. See how many times I open my refrigerator while I'm cooking? <laughs> a lot. <laughs> oh my gravy. I cut that thing open and guess what? Didn't even go down far enough. Now I gotta cut it again because the package is not even open. 
What in the hoop nanny? Alright, that's open. Alright, we can turn that off now. We will add these tires in here. That don't seem like a, enough water for me. Oh no, that did not seem like enough water. <laughs> oh my lord. Okay, you know what? I'm not going by that anymore. That don't even seem like enough water. Let's get some milk in there. Get the butter melted. Oh Lord, I'm getting a workout here. Okay, we can off with that. Because after it's been on for a while, it just becomes annoying. I have all my windows open anyway. At least two of my windows. Alright, that sounds much better. Let me crack corn. Okay, those potatoes are salty. Oh my goodness. Ugh. Did I put any salt in here? I didn't put any salt in here, did I? No, I just put the bowl of water in here. Mm. Oh no. You know what? I'm just gonna eat a little swig of these. They salty. Mm -mm. And I don't know why I didn't use my whisk. I usually whisk my potatoes up. Do broccoli make y'all pass gas? All right, let's sit this one right here. We'll put this pan back right here. there and here we go how about this wowzer look at that wow does that not look like the most balanced cooked meal that you have seen me cook in quite some time look at that got some protein some veggies some potatoes that I probably had to drink like two cups of water to cut the salt back. <laughs> Wowzer. And I got some water in here with some some iced tea with peach flavor. 
And this has a weird taste to it. I don't know what's going on. Okay, let me wash my fork off. It looks delicious, boy. Oh my Lord, yes it does. Looks delicious. Oh, I need a knife. I need my knife as well. All right. I'm gonna move you guys down here. Come on. Come on. Let's get you. Get down here. Ah! What in the hoop nanny was that? Ah, let's get it. I'm gonna move down this way. Let's see, can y'all see the food? Okay, that's good enough. That is good enough. Look at this. This looks so nice. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit of pepper on my. Ugh. Give me a napkin as well. A little pepper on here. All right. Okay, you guys, here it is. I know I showed you guys a few seconds ago, but there it is. Look at that. I would be happy at a restaurant if my meal came out looking like this. I would be happy. Now, I also want to talk, say something about how I cut my food. I usually cut with my right hand, even though I am right-handed and most people would eat with their right hand. But when I'm eating with something, eating something that I have to cut, I generally will cut with my right and even pick the food up with my left. And if it wasn't something that I didn't have to cut, I would just use my right hand all the time. I don't know, it's kind of weird. Maybe I don't cut really well with my left hand, who knows. I usually don't eat steamed broccoli, so it does taste a little different than what I'm usually used to broccoli tasting because I usually have it mixed up with a whole bunch of other things and another whole meal. I very rarely eat broccoli on its own like that, like steamed broccoli. So it is a bit different for me. All right, let's cut this steak. I'm gonna cut it down the middle. Now, you know with steak, you cut it against the grain. Now, against the grain, for those of you who may not be familiar with what against the grain is, I generally will know how to cut the steak because I cut it the short width. The short width, not the long width. I was told or I've learned from watching a lot of cooking channels that if you cut it the long way, the steak will be less tender. It will actually be, might be even rubberish tasting. So the short way, the short length is the against the grain and not the long width, okay? Get up in here. Oh, it's cooked, all right. Oh, it's, yeah, it's, it looks like it's a little medium, a little well. So let's see. Okay, maybe, okay, there we go. Okay, let me try to show you guys this piece right here. I generally don't like the end pieces because the end piece will have like, the fat on it and I don't like to eat the fat part but there you have it see it still has a little pink in it that might be a little bit bit more pink for a lot of your taste but I like a little pink uh, I'm glad that I cooked it another minute uh, otherwise it would have been much redder than this and I would have to get back up and put it back in the pan so let's give this a taste
Mm. Wow, so that is really good. It needs a little bit more salt and pepper, but I'm not gonna add any more salt and pepper to it because I think it's best when the salt and pepper is added while cooking. I mean, before you cook it and it's already embedded on the back and the front of the steak. I just don't think it will make too much of a difference if I add it on now. But yes, it is really good. That is the right amount of pink for me. Right amount of pink for me. Mm. Oh yeah. My favorite, uh, my favorite piece of steak actually is flank steak. That steak cooks up so well. Look at me. I can't even get that out the um, steak. This steak right here is a little bit too thick, uh, thick for me. And it's a lot. I like a much thinner steak. And that's why flank steak is like the best cut for me. Love flank steak. Look at me and my well-balanced meal. <laughs> let me see. Let me see if I got a second opinion about these taters. They just doesn't. They just don't taste as well as the Idaho ones. They really don't. No offense to the FOA that sent me these potatoes. But they just, they just don't have the, I don't know. I don't, don't want to be cruel about it because they were given to me. But I also want to give my honest opinion of them. And they, they just don't taste as good as the um, Idaho ones. Mmm. I have been here at the campground just really, really relaxing, going out and sitting in my screen area a couple hours a day. Um, I did walk to the pool and sat there for about an hour or so. So I'm really just enjoying the relaxation that I'm afforded or allowed to do right now in my life. The weather is beautiful today. Um, I may walk down to the pool again and hang out. One thing about this campground is because it's so spread out, it's hard to tell whether it's... I really want to move y'all a little around this way. Y'all don't see the food, so y'all don't need to see the food. It's hard to tell whether or not it's a lot of people here. I can tell by that there are people here by the general population that's in my area, but like the tent sections and the cabin sections and all that, um, I can't really tell if it's a lot of people here or not. Oh, excuse me. It is the weekend and a lot of people probably are leaving today, but it's not like the other campgrounds where you see a lot of people walking out and about and all this kind of stuff. Now, the only way I might get the impression that there are a lot of people here is if I go down to the pool area and it might be a decent amount of people, a decent number of people at the pool. Or if I eat at the uh, restaurant, the restaurant will might, might have a lot of people in it. Last weekend, last weekend when I ate at the restaurant, it was 
a full house just about. And I, I was sitting there thinking, okay, there are some people here. <laughs> you know, there are some people here. I'm also going to talk with you guys about in an upcoming video. I might do it live because I'm, I'm, I want to keep up with doing some lives this year because last year I didn't do a whole lot of lives and I think lives are good to have and good to do. Uh, one, it gives you a break from the whole uh, filming and editing pro process. And two, it gives you a chance to interact with you guys, you know? And I think it's good because the comments is the only other way that I get to interact with you guys. And as you guys know, I haven't been really interacting a lot in the comment section. It is a lot to read and respond to everyone. So instead, I'm going to try and do uh, one live a week so that if any of you have any questions for me and you know, so a lot of times I may not get to see what your comment is. So the live is a, going to be a much better or easier way to pop on and ask me some questions as we talk about whatever we talk about during the live. Mm. I'm not sure I would call this complete meal a wowser because the broccoli, the broccoli flavor is not like wowing me. Again, I told you about the potatoes. They are a little too salty for my taste and they don't have that, that good taste like the Idaho brand. And the steak is okay. I mean... I wish I would have put just a little bit more salt and pepper on it, but the meal is okay. Not a wowser, just, should I, should I give it a, a, I don't know. I'm gonna give it a W, a W, <laughs> we're gonna give it a W. <laughs> the, the steak is very filling. I'm fill, I'm filled up already. I'm gonna stop right now because I'm trying to control my portions. Maybe in the morning I'll make some fried potatoes and steak and eggs. How about that? Hmm. But anywho, I want to thank you guys as always for taking a few minutes out of your day. Well, it seemed to be a little more than a few these days. <laughs> but taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys. You know that. I cannot thank you guys enough for allowing me to live this way. And allowing me to have this, this wonderful home. So much, so much, so much better than being in my minivan all the time. And you know what? It's so weird. It's so weird that... I spend more time in here than I do out there. And I bought the screen, the whole screen area. And for some reason, I'm drawn to be in here. It's so crazy. It's almost like I have to think. Anthony, you bought that screen. Get your behind out there and enjoy it. And that's when I, it hits me to go out there and, and stay out there for about an hour and a half or whatever. But I, I don't know is that I, I love this trailer so much and I'm enjoying it so much that I just feel a lot comfortable in here. Um, I do everything in here. I mean, I am not that guy who bought a trailer that has a bathroom a kitchen and a nice big bed and not utilize it. I utilize that bathroom to the utmost. I'm getting used to showering in it um, whenever I need to take a shower. Ever since I got back from Dubai and got back to Florida, I have not gone to the shower house and showered one time. I've 
been showering in here. I'm getting used to showering in here and used to using the space. Now, when I shower, I keep the door open and it allows me to push the shower curtain out some. So that gives me just a little bit of elbow room, but you guys know that the shower curtain keep moving in. So I'm trying to think of an idea that I can keep the shower curtain out so that I can have that uh, little bit more elbow room to turn around and wash that side of my body that the shower curtain is on. But I'm definitely getting used to showering in an air and using both methods of using the bathroom. I mean, and I am absolutely loving it. And once again, thanks to you guys. I really appreciate the support of the FOA community. You guys are the best. I say that all the time. And I also am going to have something really, really special for the uh, FOA joint, the joint FOAs. I feel like I have been neglecting you guys because you are giving me this extra support and I really want to start showing you guys that, my, you know, my appreciation. And I'm sitting up here thinking while I'm speaking to you guys because I went to Walmart and one of the things that I wanted to get from Walmart, I did not get, which was something that I wanted to get for the FOAs. So I might have to make an additional trip back to Walmart tomorrow or before my next video and so that I can share that with you guys. Um, I know that you don't have to do that. You don't have to, you know, be a joint FOA member, uh, but you choose to. And I do want to start acknowledging some of you guys with some, some prizes and gifts and whatever. Okay. All right. I'll see you guys the next time.